Good morning, afternoon, evening, fellow privateers. Welcome to the Week Ahead Outlook from Privateer FX. I hope everyone's healthy, uh, enjoying time with their family in this period of lockdown, social distancing, self-isolation, whatever you want to call it. Um, they locked things down in Chicago and in Illinois, um, right around the close on Friday. We've been doing a good job of, of this, uh, you know, our family and a lot of our friends for the past week. Um, you know, several cases in the area. We're in a small suburb. But hearing several cases, uh, nothing too serious. Uh, you know, the, the testing is obviously... You know, there's been a lot more testing and it seems like every day there's more and more testing so this case count is going to continue to go up um, you know I personally have had some symptoms just really the dry cough for about well it's been over a week now I'm kind of hoping I have it my body will fight it and I'll be immune to it for when it comes back again in fall um, there's been some positive news flow on the on the uh, medicines that have been used to treat this virus. It's coming out of Europe. I think France was the last one. I saw something as well on a, some report out of San Diego, out of California, that the Z-Pak and the whatever the malaria pill is called, uh, some sort of combination of the two, is uh, really helping people that are that have you know more advanced stages or you know worse symptoms. So um, the news flow. I think this weekend, you know, I've been on Twitter, just following Twitter all weekend, really for my news, and it um, seems to be a bit better than a week ago. I think it's because everyone is now aware that the case counts going to continue to grow exponentially in the U.S number of deaths is going to increase a lot of this is you know the, the testing you know we're really stepping up the testing um there's i read something there's a there's like a 10 minute where you 10 minute test you can take um that doctors will probably have this week i think it was approved by the fda um where you'll know your results in, within 10 minutes and then you can take the, the whatever course of action your doctor chooses. But, um, you know, we're, the numbers are going to continue to spike. I was looking at the um, weekend Wall Street, pull it up here. Um, we're only down about 2%. We had a horrible close on Friday. I think that was basically the Illinois shutdown and a couple other states that uh, initiated the uh, – the stay at home rules. Um, this was down about 3% this morning. Um, the other positive news coming out this weekend is it looks like they will, the US um, Congress will have be able to pass something probably tomorrow morning early, maybe even before the market opens. Um, a, a big fiscal stimulus. I think they're talking about $2 trillion. This will be round one of you know what could be you know four or five ten whatever pick a number um this country is headed for a depression if they don't act and act aggressively it's it's just that straightforward i never thought that i would um ever be in a situation where we experience something that you know my grandparents lived through and I'm not trying to scaremonger anyone, but th this is as bad or worse than what they went through. And there was potential to be worse than what they went through. So, you know, the governments have to act. Um, you know, the markets panicked first. The governments are panicking now. The barons, Read the Barons' uh, front cover of the weekend. Um, 
have it somewhere here. I don't know where it is, but anyhow, the, um, oh, here, here it is right here. Hold on. What Washington needs to do right now to spare America a second Great Depression. Okay, well, that's, that to me makes me want to buy some stocks here on the open. Uh, let's go back. Why don't we go back to um, the beginning of January. Uh, here we go. Jan 3rd, how to position your portfolio for rising market risks. Okay. 2020 roundtable, almost no chance of recession. Well, we're borderline depression. Method behind the melt-up, why the Dow won't stop at 30,000. <laughs> um, Wall Street takes over Main Street, Morgan Stanley's deal for E-Trade. Holy shit, February 21st, nice timing. Um, stocks to buy amid the sell-off. Okay, it's next for airline stocks. Well, I'm long United because they've been taken to the the woodshed um, so that's kind of interesting you know now you're starting to see it in in the mainstream media um, right at the time that I'm starting to think about buying dips and speaking of dips here's one that I would buy that I think we get a tradable bounce I'd love, I hope we see it um, 2030 in the S&P this is a cash S&P because I want to go back to 09 it's just easier to see um, this is a monthly chart. You can see here we closed under the lows of December 2018. Last week, just barely, 2350 area was providing decent, <laughs> decent support throughout the week. Um, so we closed under that. We are now approaching, um, if you see here, this bar right here, this is the election, Trump election low which was 2030. It's also the half fib from the 2009 low in March to the all time highs. I think you'll get a, you know, a very significant kind of 15 to 20% rally from this area. If we see it um, right now, we're only looking like we're going to open a couple percent lower different than the week before. Cause you, we, excuse me, the week before we rallied hard on Friday and then, Gap lower a week ago uh, during the Asian Open, where we then uh, ended up going limit down. So, you know, Friday we sold off really hard late in the day. I actually thought we were going to get a little bit of a rally back up to 2,500. That didn't happen. Uh, the other thing that bulls have um, going for them this coming week, um, you know, we get the fiscal stimulus package will be announced. You probably get a bounce out of that. Um, we do have, we're coming into month end and quarter end. There's going to be some massive, massive pension rebalances, um, where, you know, it's a systematic rebalance where they do it monthly. Stocks are down about 25% on the month. Bonds are kind of unchanged on the month. So they're going to have to come in they're going to have to buy equities and they're going to have to sell bonds to rebalance portfolios. In normal market conditions, that can lead to a, you know, a decent bid to the market. In times where volatility is still on the 60 handle, the VIX coming off the 80 handle, um, we think you could get some really big outsized moves, um, higher in equities. So I have no problem with this thing rallying back to 2600, 2700 even. Or we'd be looking to sell it again. Hi. Um, so we've got so that's S and P 500. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at 30 year yields. Let me get down to the week, get down to the weekly chart here for that. Um, see here, two weeks ago we had that big reversal higher in yields and went back up to 180. And then last week we got a peak pretty close to two percent. Um, only to come somewhat unglued on the, um, on, uh, I think it was Thursday, Friday, um, 
where we, we dip back down. But, you know, we're well off the lows. We're kind of in between this, the lows of 83 and the highs of 190. Very volatile. Um, expect to see some pressure in bonds this week uh, on that pension rebalancing. Take a look at gold. Gold is hanging in there. Um, that's the weekly. It, it bounced 1450 is a lot in the sand for us in gold. As long as we can stay above there, um, I think we could retrace some of this, you know, back to kind of 1550, 1575 last week's high. Um, currencies obviously were completely crazy last week. Um, there's dollar max. One, two, three, four, five weeks, like some like 25, 30% move up. Um, dollar yen is hanging in there. Um, you know, the dollar was very strong in general. Let's take a look at Dixie. Just give you an idea of what the broad dollar index got up to 103, pretty much. I think 103 was a high. We're expecting to see a bit of a pullback. Um, I'd like to buy it somewhere around 100 on the pullback. Um, you know, they've increased these swap lines. They're, they were throwing everything at it. The amount of um, the amount of uh, band-aids they're putting on the uh, the patient this past week are crazy. Anywhere from you know Fed rate cuts last week to fiscal talk and swap lines and everything else. They're trying everything in their power um, to slow this risk off and you know in, in the case of the dollar the, the, the stronger dollar is not helping anyone I wouldn't be at all surprised if Trump announces some sort of dollar intervention uh, to, to slow the ascent of this move um, there's dollar CAD that went parabolic with oil well I think it was down about 25 30 percent this past week uh, almost got up to 147 before backing off um, <laughs> Close at 143.50. Cable absolutely decimated last week. Um, I think the market's punishing them for you know their response to the, the virus. Um, but it, you know it did bounce had a decent bounce. Went from 114 to 118 I think last on Friday. Um, Euro continues its ascent lower. Pretty ugly week closed not too far off the lows of the week um, you know keep an eye on these I mean that there all these markets are highly correlated you know so if you're starting to see uh, I can't get the risk parity but the risk parity the ETF had a, had a bounce like three percent on Friday and that's interesting because um, you know it, it, it got absolutely destroyed when stocks and bonds were both selling off together and gold for that matter and you know what we're seeing now is if gold is maybe basing and the dollars may be short-term topping out that should lead to uh, a more favorable environment to be long of stocks so i'm watching all these markets closely to try to get uh, a sense for the, the next drug because these are tradable moves i mean these you know like i was saying earlier 15 20 percent pounds in equities you can get a 5% sell off in the dollar easily. I mean, they're moving fast and furious. Liquidity FX is is about a fifth of what it was two weeks ago, um, deteriorating rapidly. Um, here's the oil chart. Um, you know, it did bounce off 20. I think we could get, we, we did have a, let's look at it daily because you can see that just how crazy this thing is. So we got down to 20 bucks, went up to 28, 29. 28.50 and then you know sold off again on on Friday um, these are the types of moves that we should be expecting so there are there are you know there's plenty of trades you know be patient don't uh, there's no reason to over trade in this market there are tons and tons of opportunities every day in all different asset classes anyhow I'll leave it at that uh, stay healthy wash your hands and enjoy the time with your family. And uh, you'll be hearing from us on the European Open. All the best. Cheers.